Sumatra Simca Rancho all the funkiest off-road stuff slung together into an intriguing package for on-road drivers. So far ahead of its time that it would still look fresh if it were launched today, 40 years on. It came with all sorts of roughy tufty cladding but was only ever front drive. No Aventime close to genius in its originality and defiance of ready categorization. Based on the S-Pus, but not intended as family transport, the 2001-2003 Aventime had two large and inventively hinged doors, no B-pillars and four opulent seats, the rear duo being higher than the front. Citroen DS we've raved about this so often that regular readers will know the litany off by heart, hydro pneumatic self-leveling suspension, first production car with disc brakes, power steering, automated clutch, fiberglass roof, slick aero. It ran from 1955 to 1975. Renault Espace The 1984 Espace is the first recognizable Euro MPV. Devised as a replacement for the Rancho, PSA didn't fancy it and the idea ended up at Renault instead. The MPV may have run its course now, but it was a good run, based on the insight that if you have two kids, they have friends. Citroen 2CB Transport for the Masses. From 1948, the simple, affordable, Air Cools 2CB got generations of French workers off their horses and carts and stupid motorized bicycles and onto four wheels. Tremendous packaging and ride quality, and took the radial tire over ground. Renault 16 The first front-wheel drive family-sized hatchback. Running from 1965 to 1980, it was a huge sales success across Europe, tapping into demand for something modern, practical, Super comfortable and a little bit funky. It also had an aluminium engine and electric cooling fan. Renault 5 Turbo Not to be confused with any other R5, this was the mid-engined one from 1980, and it was wild, at least as a road car. It started as a rally car, picking up the gauntlet thrown down by the launch Stratus. The engine was a 1.4 Turbo 4 making about 160 bhp. Peugeot 1007 It's not unusual these days for cars to have van-style sliding doors, but these were the front doors, not the rears. Blazed a trail in 2005 for car names with OO in the middle, which proved to be excitingly controversial when the Bond franchise chiefs took exception. Citroen Traction of on the name translates as front-wheel drive. It wasn't the first, but it brought the system to the mass market in 1934, along with a unitary body slash chassis rather than a separate frame and coach-built body. The combination was good for packaging, weight reduction and cost. Renault Scenic not exactly genius on paper, but the first compact MPV, launched in 1996, worked a treat in the showroom and on the road. At one point they were bashing out 2,500 a day. It grew into the Grand Espas, which makes even less sense on paper but works brilliantly well. Renault 